Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Communicating, Sorta. And a disclaimer before we begin today. Gentlemen, Mother's Day is at hand this Sunday. There, you've been warned. Our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, where Paul the Apostle writes, There is one thing I want you to know. The head of every man is Christ. The head of woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. It's my belief that men really do want to communicate. Contrary to the stereotypes that you see where the husband has his newspaper up over his face at the kitchen table, everything the wife says to him, he grunts a response. He's not listening. Men aren't that way deep down. This is a stereotype produced by the ignorance of Hollywood. But sometimes it shows up in our character, men, and then in the funny papers. Leroy and Loretta Lockhorn are walking down the street and he says to her, let's go someplace noisy where we can't hear each other. (laughs) I don't believe men are really like that. I believe men want to communicate. Men realize the importance of communication. The tricky part is doing it. Communication is not an exact science. Women tend to communicate differently than men do. The Bible says we must speak the truth in love. I believe that to be a bit of Apostle Paul's advice that applies to both male and female. By that I mean men and women both believe it, they just practice it differently. The men tend to concentrate on that part that says, speak in truth. The women relate to that part which says, in love. Men are interested in logic, that right brain problem solving mechanism. Women, however, don't just want truth and problems solved. It must be done in a loving way. Women want to talk about things. When I arrive home from a day at the office, if my wife has a problem, she wants to discuss it. There's something therapeutic for her in sharing. I, on the other hand, am a problem-solving machine. She states the problem. I immediately have a six-point program complete with intermediate reporting steps and accountability factors to fix that puppy. And I think I'm doing really well. Man, I'm communicating. Well, after dutifully listening for several minutes, my wife loses interest and busies herself in making dinner. And I wonder what in the world I did to make her mad lack of communication. We were talking about the same event, but I was bulldozing it out of existence, while she wanted to squeeze every last drop of meaning from the depths of all relationships involved. In Brewer, Maine, the police got a phone call one time about a woman who was very disturbed. She was talking to a lady friend of hers on the phone, and after a little while, the phone just went quiet, and all she could hear was gasping breaths in the distance. She couldn't get her friend to respond. The police sent a patrol car, and the cop knocked on the door, but she could get no response. She went around to the side and looked at the kitchen window. There was the woman spread eagle on the floor with the phone next to her. She thought, oh my gosh, this one's had a heart attack and she's died right there. She was going to break in the door, but she knocked just in case there was another family member in the house somewhere. When the door opened, it was the woman who was laying on the floor. She explained, I'm so sorry, I guess we were talking too long on the phone. I laid down on the floor to rest a moment and fell asleep while Hattie was still talking to me. (laughs) As a preacher, I can relate. For you today... Men need to practice communicating, not dictating orders and solving everybody's problems, being the general in the house. If a man desires to be called head of the house, he'll take the time to learn how to communicate with his wife. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.